I told you this was going to happen. I mean, you don't have to be a prophet to see this coming. The United States of America has postponed a meeting that was supposed to happen in Uganda. They're supposed to help them with HIV, AIDS, fighting, and I believe the budget for the year was $400 million. They told Uganda, we're gonna hold on, like we're not gonna go through with this meeting because why? You guessed it because of the gay bill that you have just proposed. The US president's emergency plan for aid relief told Ugandan partners last week that a meeting was being postponed in light of the new law. The Uganda Country Operational Plan 2023 meeting was already set to happen. However, the US State Department spokesperson said, this is over the bill which was passed by the Ugandan parliament last month, setting out penalties including life imprisonment for anyone identifying as gay. We all know this was coming when we heard what the Ugandan government did. The parliament passed the bill and they were celebrating and it went viral. It was everywhere on every platform and when it gets that kind of attention obviously the western powers that want this to happen are going to panic they're like if this is going to be popular and people are going to appreciate this we have to make sure that we make an example out of this country and uganda is the one that did this so they are going to face even much more than this because us even threatened uganda with a sanction is anything like sanctions or some other concrete measure being considered by the us side if this law should take effect yeah, well, first of all, big if there, right? Uh, this is the parliament passing it. It still has some process to go here. Um, we're, uh, we're certainly watching this real closely, and uh, we would have to take a look at whether or not there might be um, uh, repercussions that we would have to take, per per perhaps in an economic uh, way, uh, should this law actually get passed uh, and enacted. Um, and that would be really unfortunate because uh, so much of the economic assistance that we provide Uganda is health assistance and largely through PEPFAR. Uh, and uh, uh, you, you can see a world in which you know, a law like this, should it be enacted, would not only, as, as Kareen rightly said, just be devastating to a whole community of people inside Uganda, but, uh, but if it were to have any kind of an effect uh, uh, on our economic assistance that would only make that worse. So we'll have to take a look, no decisions. We're watching this very, very closely and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, it won't pass and we won't have to do anything. We will wait for the Ugandan government response on this. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.